The topic today is from batch to real time. So what I want to explain and show you is the changes we are running through or getting with S4 HANA um, in respect to period and closing. I will also keep the session a little bit broader to tell you a little bit about the, the overall strategy we are following for S4 HANA. So first question, is anybody of you already involved in S4 HANA? Or everybody still? So one person? Two? Okay. Um, anybody interested in S4 HANA Cloud? Nobody. This is what we are normally seeing. So I think you all heard that SAP is planning to, to become, become the cloud company. So from our point of view, the direction is going clearly into cloud not for all customers, but for many of our customers. Um, normally, SAP should be a few years ahead of the customers, because if you're not developing now, you will not, not get it in one to two years. So we should be ahead. Um, and that's the picture we're seeing for cloud. So most of our customers are still on premise. This is why we try to deliver all the, the new implementations we do for cloud also for on-premise. So at the moment, S4 HANA Cloud and uh, on-premise get uh, all the functionality that is in S4 HANA Cloud, or most of the functionality, is also available for on-premise customers. You get the same things. Um, I have a few screenshots. Some of them are only cloud, but I will tell you if it is cloud or on-premise. So we have this legal disclaimer. In short words, if I'm telling you something about things we are planning, you cannot be sure that they will be, that they will come, will be implemented. So you should not base any buying decision on that. So some of the things I'm showing are already available. Other, other things are just plans, and we will see if and when they will be, will come. 